Good morning, everyone. Happy Tuesday, December 19th, 2023. Everybody's having a good morning. Got markets uh, still continuing a little, little rally here this morning. Yesterday was a, another green day, so the holiday uptick continues. Dow currently trading at uh, plus 17, NASDAQ plus 15, S&P plus four and three quarters. So just slightly green. I'm coming down here a little bit. The last 30 minutes or so. <laughs> Let's see how things go this morning. VIX is at is down a third of a percent so I'm kind of just I'm kind of just facing the facts that it appears uh, markets are just gonna tick higher until the new year we'll have to see what happens after that in 2024 we got an election year uh, but uh it's getting a little difficult to trade zero DTEs. I was looking yesterday. I actually had a winning iron condor that I put on in the morning. Had a losing reverse iron condor. I, in hindsight, probably shouldn't have put it on just because. Um, but I always try to stick to the rules. And then um, power hour, I just uh, wasn't much juice for the. For an iron condor, so I didn't, didn't trade any in the afternoon there with a zero DTE power hour. <laughs> there is the bell. See if we get some upside volume runners or see if we'll get some downside volume runners so, so with a pullback. Amazon, new highs, Meta pushing up, so getting some strength here, see if it continues or not. Some pretty, pretty nice, sizable pushes here right out of the gates. We'll see if that continues or not. Meta through yesterday's high.
A lot of stocks pushing up here. Amazon reversed. Meta up 1%, Tesla up 1%, Square up 2.5%, Riot Blockchain, Cryptos have been strong lately, up over 3%. It's good to see Riot coming back. It had gotten up to 20 bucks a share, and then it went back down to about 9 bucks, and now it's coming back up. Baba and Baidu pushing up. So Netflix, Amazon, looks like they may get red bars here. <clears throat> One thing I've kind of been doing recently is taking a look a little bit more at the navigation trend trading charts and um, buying uh, finding places in this strong market where there maybe is a pullback and if the stock's on an uptrend, just going out a few weeks, buying some calls. I did that with Amazon. And... Uh, Yesterday closed out with like 2,500 profits. Just using those trend trading charts. <laughs> yeah, Meta really pushing up. Netflix coming down through pre-market lows. In our second bars here now. So a little, little mixture, mostly green, but got some red sprinkled in here. <laughs> Trading the Mighty 90 and runner strategies, continuation and volume runner. If you're new, welcome. Make sure you're paper training if you haven't traded those strategies. Yeah, Meta really strong. Square up up over three and a quarter percent. So Square also strong. Kind of got rid of all. I got rid of all my Amazon shares when I hit yesterday's high. Yesterday, towards the end of the day, felt like I better just take them off. I held them for a few days. I had a lot of time left on them, but the trend trading was showing it pushing up to highs. So I thought, well, it's at highs. So I got rid of them. Looks like that was a good call so far. Uh, let me take a look. I've been going like when I just look at the trend trading and just kind of buy calls or puts. Um, let's see. We go to the Amazon options. I was, I believe, in the well. There's 17 days now. I think when I got in them, they were like that 17 to 20 
21 days right right in there just gives you some time I mean, you, you may experience a day where they're down but i was been playing the rules on that the trend trading so So I'll kind of show you here what I did real quick. Pull this over. So I got in. I'm on this little pullback right here. Tonight. Um, it was in an uptrend. A little pullback. I bought calls right there and then got this. So... Most of the time when I've done trend trading, I've done spreads like you know, short call vertical, short put vertical, but just decided to like try with just buying some make it simple. Uh that's what I was just showing. That's what I was just showing. It was like the seven somewhere between the seventeen and twenty-four right in there. Sometimes when I've done spreads, I've done not that far out, but obviously theta works against you. So I went a little further out when I was just buying the calls and it, it worked for Amazon. I mean, I haven't, I haven't done it very often. I'm just kind of something I'm doing. I'm just trying. So Boeing getting a big volume bar here. Uh, no, I've been going about the 75 Delta, 7580 Delta. <clears throat> so going in the money on those. That's what Steve teaches in the course. Square. Let's see. Yeah. I just thought it, it's just simpler than, than doing spreads and you kind of book profits quicker. You know, you might take a day where you, you where they're, you're, they're down, but man, because you know, it fluctuates so much, you just, I stick with that trend. Amazon was a good trend, looked like to continue upward. So Square didn't quite get there, but Boeing did. Square's close, man. I'll see if Boeing pulls back a little bit. AMD got there as well. Yeah, no pullback in Boeing at all. Dang. <laughs> I mean, I had a little pullback before that when that bar closed, I guess, but so did Square. I, I just like to see a little more, a little more pullback than that. Morning, Bumblebee. And Roku was really close to, let me take a look at that and toss. And Roku was darn close. <clears throat> I've played these like volume runners in a strong market before when it's this close. Boeing kind of pulling back here a little bit. Take a look at Boeing. So yeah, I trade the, the three DTE, three DTE. So Boeing, I would trade the 265 calls.
See, trying to get filled at. I'm just going to jump in here. Built at 225 in Boeing on the 265 calls. So I would close half my Boeing at 250. an order in there in case I'm not watching and meta still going square no pullback AMD not much of a pullback All right, come on Boeing do what your friends are doing you pull back for us Wow, AMD really, AMD getting another big bar. Goog? Um, I'm not sure what you're you maybe looking at a different, the wrong one there, Deox. Man, so Boeing not cooperating it needs to hold right there. Otherwise, it's cut city. Oh, yeah, Walmart Mighty 90. Yep. It's popping up a little bit, though. Yeah, you had to get in right down here. Disney kind of setting up to continue higher, maybe. So Boeing coming down close to my cut. Kind of disappointing. That was a nice volume bar and a nice pullback. AMD pulling back a little bit. See, AMD, I would trade the... one forty two calls. at 245. So I need it to stay above right there. DKNG pushing highs of day. Square looking like it wants to go higher.
Boeing is not going. Come on, Boeing. Meta's pushing highs. Need to close half my AMD here. Go at 279 to close half my AMD. All right, Boeing. Man, that's a bummer. So my question is, do I cut it or do I let it come to this pivot where it'll probably bounce? And do I add to it? So, yeah, it's kind of come down below this, but it's got that pivot there. I'm going to go ahead and add to it. And then if it goes to the pivot, I'll just bail. Trying to add to it at a um, buck ninety nine. Try to add to it at two bucks. Might have missed it. Oh, AMD coming back down. Oh. Square pushing highs of day. Dang it. Square was the one. Mighty 90 and NVIDIA. I'm going to do that for sure. Four ninety calls in NVIDIA. Go at six seventy. So you can see NVIDIA's got a really nice setup for a Mighty 90 there. I would close half my NVIDIA at 740. So Boeing's still coming down here. Look maybe to add to that still. Go to 207 to add to Boeing. AMD is kind of right at my cut point, too. In terms of a volume runner goes. Built at 740 to get close half of NVIDIA. So um, if you want a good looking Mighty 90, take a look at the volume in NVIDIA. That's good, good volume pop right there. Good separation.
So I'll be looking for two bars, two green bars in NVIDIA. Get out of another NVIDIA at 810. AMD just kind of sitting there. It's kind of worrying me a little bit. Build at 810 to close a quarter of NVIDIA. And I've only got one NVIDIA left. I only did four contracts, so because I'll just see if it gets second. Second bar on that one. Really wanted to see AMD take off by now. Kind of got a big red bar there too. So needs to do something quick here. Got out of half, which was good already. <clears throat> Square just taken off. Really need Boeing to get going here. Build at 225 to close half my Boeing. That was my original entry. So a good ad there on that. Man, look at Meta. Uh, AMD, I'm going to cut my AMD. It's just not doing what a volume runner needs to do. Build at 202. And that really came down. It's unfortunate. So closed AMD, failed volume runner. And, you know, sometimes I'm going to keep an eye out on these. See how it had two big green bars? It's like sometimes you almost have to wait till it pulls back to the first where the first big bar is, I think. It's definitely something I'm going to pay attention to from now on. Because I could see it coming down to where this first big volume bar is and then bouncing, but it's already flushed me out. You know, the downside to that would be if it has one pullback and takes off, you miss it. So.
I'll close another Boeing at 245. NVIDIA looking for second green bar to get out of my last contract here. Filled at 245 to close another Boeing. So NVIDIA, I'm going to close it out here. As this bar is coming to an end in 30 seconds. Go to 840. Closed out with about 20 seconds left. So good looking mighty 90 there. That's your that's your prototypical mighty 90 there. So if you're learning, oh, Boeing. Boeing is going. <laughs> Boeing trying to get through highs of day. Was another Boeing at 265. Just put that in in case it. Goes without me paying attention. Okay, so also here's where I want Boeing to take off through highs. You know, the trade is a volume runner. Okay, so it pulled back a little more than I wanted it to. And I don't want it to come up to where it got forced down once already. If it, if, it, if it gets forced back down, it's telling me it's probably going to chop. And you don't want that in a volume runner. <laughs> I am seeing some weakness here happening. Square could be an upside continuation runner. I keep my eye on that one. Uh, hit highs of day yesterday. Amazon did. So uh, if you look, look at Amazon here, it came up to these pivots. I was talking earlier. I had some calls that I got rid of yesterday at, at the top here. So hit highs of day. My guess is, is that not highs of day. I'm sorry. Like all time highs. If you look at, uh, let's look at like a daily chart of Amazon. I, or I shouldn't say all time highs, but let me take a look at it here. Okay. So the last time it was where it is now, it went through the high, this point here, August 8th of August 15th of 2022. So I'm guessing, um, yeah, people are probably booking profits. Microsoft, I think, was in a similar situation. So the only thing I'm in is Boeing right now. It's holding. You know, you just wonder, like, the markets have been just on a, such a big up tear in November and so far in December, like it, it can't just keep continuing. It, there has to be at some pullback at some point.
Airbnb has been strong lately too. I was looking at that for NTT. Microsoft might be getting a little mighty ninety long here. Yeah, that was a good, good mighty ninety in Nvidia. I'll take that. Yeah, I closed out AMD. Just not reacting like a volume runner should. Let me take a look at Microsoft here. Yeah, not 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 very good volume pop right here. So Netflix, little volume pop there. Potential mighty ninety short. Let's see if Netflix can make one up push up here to highs. That might get short. Tesla trying to push through highs of day. So Netflix, I'm going to look at a... Ah, oh, it, it just flipped. Ah, I was just going to say, I'm going to look at a short here and then it pulled back. I want to get it up at its peak here. Let's see. Netflix, I would trade the 490 puts. Hold it 580. So we'll see if Netflix will roll over here. Got filled on filled at two sixty five in Boeing. Close a quarter. So Boeing continues to be nice. I was looking at a zero DTE iron condor, but man, it just doesn't have the juice in it. Frustrating.
So some stocks pushing up here, but Netflix struggling a little bit. Boeing as well. See how it's kind of struggling to get up to where it got forced down already? I really want to see that push through there. I don't want to see any more drop. Any more drop, and I'm probably out. Man, what a bummer on that zero DT stuff. Man, we really need some down movement, man. Futures are chopping a little bit, starting to chop here a little bit. Netflix trying to push back up here a little bit. Tesla through highs of day. Not good. So looking for two red bars out of Netflix. Looking for Boeing to go through highs of day. Apple in chop mode. Netflix struggling a bit. Let's see if there's any other potential continuation runners or anything right now. Square, maybe. It's a really tight range, though. I don't necessarily like that tight, tight range. I would get out of another Boeing at 285. So a very nice add to that. Netflix just not really moving at all. I gotta think Netflix is gonna give me two red bars here. I mean, there's stuff pushing up right now, but it's not moving. It's kind of sitting about where, right where I entered right now. Oh, Walmart with a big bounce back.
I actually have some Walmart calls in my other account uh, based off NTT. Show you these. I call them a little longer term. So these were all based off NTT. So I got Boeing up 1180 today. Baba up 625 today, but it's down 500 for the because it was down yesterday. Tesla up 680. I'm sorry, Tesla up. Piton up 680, Tesla up 1140, and Walmart's down 165 total of over 3K based on those NTT trades. Netflix, one red bar, barely. Um, no specific time. I kind of just look at the chart and kind of see where price is at. N no, I mean, usually it's in the afternoon, but it's not, it's not set in stone that way for me. You know, like if I think yesterday, you know, I was, I can't remember which one it was. Um, was it yesterday? No, it wasn't yesterday. You know, if I'm going long and I see it's coming down to like lows of day, I'll, I'll go ahead and put it on regardless of, of what time of day it is. If it's, um, if it's at like highs of day, and, I, and I'm and the NTT's telling me to go long, um, then I will wait to see if it pulls back for me a little bit, and then put it on during the day. So. Just kind of depends. So I've got an order to close half of my Netflix at six forty. I'm feeling really glad that this mighty ninety is working in Netflix because there's a lot of stuff pushing up right now. Look at square. I, I mentioned that it looks like an upside volume runner. Filled at 285. To close another Boeing. Man, what a monster. What a great ad down there. Just realizing that pivot instead of bailing on it. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I it's kind of what you use the pivots for, you know? It's like, okay, so the rule says to get out of it if it goes below this point where this price started on the second on that big volume bar, but it dipped its toe below it and it had a pivot there to hold on to it. So I left it. Darn it, Netflix. Thought I was gonna maybe get filled on half my Netflix. And Roku firing up. And with things getting strong. I maybe should have closed my Netflix out when it was down here at the bottom. It's kind of just a scratch trade right at the moment.
meta could potentially be an upside continuation that comes back down a little bit. Yeah, Roku maybe getting a little bit of a mighty 90 there. It's pretty darn strong on the day. That's a definite mighty 90, though. All right, I'm going to go for one last mighty 90 here for the day. Roku, 96 puts. Sold at 223. So Netflix did not give me two consecutive reds, and it's not above that little... Consolidation, so I'm going to hold it. Not sure what to think here. If Netflix pushes through this little consolidation, I might just bail on it. What I'm hoping is to get two nice pushdowns in Netflix still. <laughs> Really struggling though. Roku pushing up a little bit. Could have got a better fill than what I got. Much better fill. Meta still consolidating. And see, that's what Netflix might be just consolidating here and turn into an upside continuation runner. It's like it didn't have a, a really a good push, initial push up, though. But it's definitely consolidating here. So it's going to go one way or the other. I would add to my Roku at two bucks. It pushes up. Always position size mighty 90s to add to them. Come on, push up a little bit more. Just a little bit more. Come on. You can do it.
Build it. Two bucks. To add to Roku. Okay. So nice little Mighty 90 look there. Pushed up. Now I want it to roll over. And I would close half at my original entry. 223. Still looking good. Netflix not going anywhere. Got another red bar, barely. Out of Netflix. Now I just need a nice big drop out of Netflix. Yeah, look at Apple just chopping. Come on, Netflix. S or Dow up one sixty nine, Nasdaq up fifty two, and S and P up eighteen. Boeing still climbing. DKNG taking off, man. That square upside volume. I called that out. I was like, yeah, it's really tight range. Definitely would have worked there, though. NVIDIA kind of breaking through this little consolidation. Pretty slow movement happening right now. Again, this is kind of why I usually cut today, or I'm sorry, cut the live stream here with these strategies around 9.30 central time after the first hour because it just gets to be such slow movement. I mean, at some point, Netflix is going to go either way. At some point. When that's going to be, I don't know. Yeah, I thought Roku was going to give me a red bar, but maybe not. Filled at 305 to get out of another Boeing. I had a kid.
Roku, no red bar yet. Tesla through eyes of day. Yeah, just need a little pullback here. That's all we need. I don't think Roku wants to give it to us right now. It's been a while since I've seen a Mighty 90 like Netflix here, or it virtually goes nowhere. <laughs> and looks like it's going to rip my face off. Should have maybe did without the last Mighty 90. <laughs> Had a pretty good green day going. But keep the faith. It's going to give me two red bars at some point. Oh, Netflix pushing up. Okay. Um, I'm going to watch Netflix here because it hasn't given me two red bars in a row. But like I said, it's in this consolidation where it looks like it could maybe Potentially be an upside continuation runner, and that is not what I want. So watching it carefully here. Boeing coming down a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and gonna go ahead and close my Boeing and just book profits. at 285 to close the rest of my Boeing just so it doesn't eat any profits I mean it's due to pull back a little bit all right Netflix Gonna close it. Filled at five fifty-five. So small loser there. Just it is a mighty ninety. If you held it, I wouldn't be mad at you. But it, it's been over thirty minutes since I've been in it. Got since I got in this mighty ninety, and so it kind of is just setting up as a consolidation to the upside. And that's what I said. I said. It's either going to go one way or the other. It looks like it's going to go up. Yeah, and Roku. Getting pushed down a little bit here. So thank goodness for that. So I think what I'm going to do... We'll give a second here. Roku may be giving us a red bar. <clears throat> Roku's the only thing I have left.
Baba trying to go through highs of day. Come on, Roku, give us a red bar. Yeah, uber strong. No red bar out of Roku yet. So what I'm going to do here is it's the last trade I have. So I'm going to wait for two red bars unless with a strong market and I'm short. If it rips up through highs of day, I may cut it. I don't like to do that. But I've already added to it. So let's just hope it just comes down here and gives me two red bars. But it is a strong market, so. There are a couple things pulling back here. Boeing's pulling back a little bit. So that's what I'm going to do. Hopefully, I just I could scale out of it coming down. I've got an order in at uh, 223 to close half. Gives me two red bars. I will get out of it. And uh, I will see everybody back tomorrow. So have a good rest of your day. Peace.